coronavirus remains a dangerous disease, especially for select groups of people. The old, chronically ill, and unvaccinated remain the most vulnerable and at high risk of complications. Research has found pregnant women also fall amongst this group, with expectant mothers making up 17% of women on emergency support between July 1st and September 30th. The NHS places pregnant women in the moderate risk group, making them clinically vulnerable. Although they aren't generally more at risk from COVID, they may be towards the end of their pregnancy. At a later stage, severe infections could cause earlier births or kill the baby. Health officials also advise expectant mothers could pass on the virus to their unborn children. Heart and lungs expecting a baby is an exciting time for most people, but it is often equally as stressful. Babies require their mother's bodies to work overtime to help them develop. They need the most help from the heart and lungs, which COVID targets most. Anxiety and disinformation and vaccine disinformation has reached a fever pitch recently and has impacted thousands of people. Most people fall victim to the anxiety-inducing arguments made by people who want to whip up fear, and pregnant women are already extra vigilant for their babies. Some women have already spoken out about how not taking the vaccine left them hospitalized, adding the vaccine benefits far outweigh the risks. The pregnant immune system pregnancy puts the immune system in flux, with activity designed to allow implantation and protect the mother and baby. At first, the immune system has to tightly regulate itself so it doesn't reject the fetus as it may a transplanted organ. Scientists don't know exactly how it changes, but they do know they can make mothers more susceptible to severe immune system responses while infected with a virus. What to do if you get COVID while pregnant The NHS advises expectant mothers to watch for COVID symptoms, which vary depending on the version. The primary COVID symptoms include a high temperature, new, continuous cough and loss of smell and taste. Those with the Delta variant may also experience symptoms more like a cold, including headaches and a sore throat. Women who suspect they have COVID should book a PCR test for themselves and anyone they live with stay at home and not accept visitors speak to their midwife or maternity team anyone unsure as to what they should do can call the non-emergency NHS 111 line. If they experience the additional symptoms, however, they should call their midwife support the baby is moving more often the baby feels too still the baby changes its movement patterns there is any spotting or bleeding from the vagina they feel worried or anxious they have a persistent headache that will not go away shortness of breath when lying down or resting they cannot cope with COVID symptoms at home they have a raised temperature, 38C plus they feel unsafe.